Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So we will continue our learning on PVTP software for compositional oil modeling. And we have reached the time where we want to perform a second validation. Okay, so maybe I can expand this window. And you can see we have first regression and now we have second regression. We have performed the computation, the regression. So now let's do the second validation. As before, now is the time to check the state of the equation of state against the lab data to hopefully see some improvement on the match we achieve after the first regression. The calculation objects for each of these experiments should now be recalculated to allow comparison of the regression and the second regression. So let's click on this button, or maybe we need to select this first. So right click, select. So you can see a green check there. Okay. And then calculate objects. Calculation completed. Very good. Okay. So the computation or the calculation completed. Now let's focus on the calculation here. So you can see we have three signs here. This one, this one, yeah, pseudo properties, first regression, and second regression. It means that we will have three of these fluid models in each of our calculation. In this video, maybe I just want to focus on the face envelope first. So let's double click on face envelope. Okay, so done for face envelope input. Now let's see the results plot. As you can see here, we have three equation of states. Actually, personally, I prefer call it fluid models rather than equation of state. In PVTP, they used equation of state to call one fluid model. Okay, so that's why here we have three EOSs. Okay, but I just want to call it for simplicity three fluid models. Of course, we expect that the second regression fluid model will be the best. Okay, so let's see. This is, I'm gonna uncheck everything first. So this is for the pseudo properties. Okay, this, this fluid model. And then maybe we can expand. It, it doesn't match. What about first regression fluid model? it match very good. And what about the last? It also matches very, very good. As we can see, the regression stream is the new EOS and it reproduces the saturation pressure at reservoir temperature very, very well. Okay, I call it second regression. But you can see both the first regression and second regression fluid models they can achieve very good match. Okay, so that's the first validation. Phase envelope, okay. So based on phase envelope and based on the saturation pressure that we get, we can validate the second regression. So it means that now we are in the state of good. We are in a good state because with our first validation, I mean phase envelope validation, it's good. In the next video, I'm going to continue the validation by checking the result from separator test. Until then, thank you so much and see you.